trust me, four parts on in, in in which in which Jodie Whittaker tries to convince people that she can convince them to play a doctor. I yeah. tell you what, the the, <laughs> the coverage that this is getting over that fact mm. is just ludicrous. Because but it is a bit cool. odd, isn't it? Because it does yeah. it does go in for a lot of jokes when you describe the premise in a minute. I think there is a lot of jokes that can be made because but... of the casting news. The premise is that the aforementioned Jodie Whittaker, she plays Kath Hardacre, who is a hard-working nurse within the NHS. She sees, yes, she sees some things going on that she doesn't agree with. She tries to blow the whistle on the uh, trust, who sort of poo-poo her and say that they'll fire her because they've mm. been complained against her. And she's feeling really demoralised by her job. Her best friend, played by Andrea Lowe, Ali Sutton, is a doctor leaving the NHS. She's not very complimentary about it, uh, leaving Duke. She's going to New leave Zealand. The yeah. Yeah, leave the country, leave her job and work abroad. Um, and sort of says, you know, F the NHS. And it's not very pro-NHS in those first opening moments. And, and for some reason, wanting to better both her life and her daughter's life, Jodie Whittaker's character, Kath, decides, I'm going to take my best friend's ID and all her information and use it to get myself a job as a doctor. And this is written by Dan Sefton, who's previously bought us The Good Calm Hospital on ITV and Trust Me on Sky One, who to this very day... Is Trust Me on Sky One? No, on. delicious, delicious on Sky One, my apologies. <laughs> uh, and to this very day, he is a um, working doctor as well as a writer. So it does come from a place that doesn't. Of... That actually, I didn't know that, but that does not surprise me. So that is the premise in a nutshell. It is as nutty as it sounds. I'd it's like to know the... Gary's thoughts mainly on the NH the side of like the criticism of the NHS. This is one thing I wanted to discuss with him because obviously he worked for the NHS. I know it's, it's a different section yeah. and everything, but uh, part part of this show made me a little bit angry. I think yeah, I think the NHS takes a bit too much of a bashing, but I can understand why they do that because you know they they want to portray. Uh, that certainly the Sheffield hospital that she originally works at as the bad guys enough to make her make this decision to leave. And I suppose the only thing again that Luke didn't mention was that there is an investigative reporter who is following her, trying to get her to tell her side of the story, but in order to do so would have to name her and do an article. And she decides not to, she decides to blow the whistle and then they, they, they suspend her. But as you said, pretends to be her friend Ali, and because yeah. she finds Ali's CV and well, the green certificate in stupid the bin. Was, what what yeah. was stupid for me was why <laughs> didn't convenient. she then go ahead and find find some identification that she could keep with her? Mm. Because as someone who used to recruit for the NHS, you would never accept that somebody was who they say they are just by a bunch of documents well, that, that was in have a the, photo on it. That was the coming soon, wasn't it? That they well, need yeah, her that, passport to pay her. Too, that's done far too late. That's done before you hire somebody, not after. It's, like, well, it's, not, it's not just, can I just say, Gary, it's not just an NHS thing. It's a, every time, because I've, I've had quite a lot of job interviews this year, and every time yeah. you have to bring a proof that, you know, you've got British residency, so like a, a passport or something, and something with your UK address on it. Also, as well, what annoyed me was, again, someone who's recruited in the NHS, interviews are not held just with one doctor to another, oh, let me look through your CV yeah. whilst you get in here. There's quite a stringent process that, that was a on. very loose interview with Sharon yeah. Small's character. You probably would have got that job, actually. Yeah. Well, well, I, I think any of us would have got I, that job. I, right? I think she felt she was overqualified for the position that she was applying for. Overall, I think I like the episode. Those little things annoyed me. But in the end of it, I can see that really they are just small little plot points that they don't necessarily want to focus on. They want to get to the rest of the, ser the series. And I quite liked what they were going for. I felt like they were they were bashing junior doctors a lot. But, you know, I, I, I could maybe from his position as a, as a creator, it, it, that's where he's coming from. Maybe that's his own experience of, of working in the NHS. I think there's one thing I can praise and one thing that I, I didn't particularly... I think this is a really good showcase for Jodie Whittaker. I think yeah. for people who were ooing and ahhing about her playing the Doctor, you know, maybe have only seen her in Broadchurch or haven't seen her at all. This shows her range, I believe. She is the lead. I think she's almost in every scene in this. So, I mean, she's, she's great at, at the scenes in which she's sort of like being the standing up for what she believes in. As you say early on, she sees this junior doctor who is clearly struggling to administer something to a patient. And she's like, right, we need to start crash cart and everything like that. 
I thought she was excellent in this. What I found personally was that the, pre- mm-hmm. the, the premise itself was quite limiting to the plot because basically it's, is she going to be able to perform this procedure without getting found out? Obviously, she had some knowledge of what to do because of her nursing background, but there's obviously procedures that she's never done. And she's reading a lot of books, she's watching a lot of videos on the internet, and every time she has to sort of it, pretend to be a doctor, it's like big music plays, there's yeah, suspicious looks the around. Down. Obviously, she's not going to get found out completely until like the final episode. There wouldn't be a series otherwise. What I would say is the, the drama that I possibly would have liked to have seen more is what you were talking about with the, um, the journalist and all of that, that she was this... No, yeah. she got suspended. Once she gets suspended, she has the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow the whistle now. I've got nothing left to lose. Instead, she decides to do this wacky sort of plot that has, no, you know, is very far fetched. But I just find it quite limiting. And I have to say, I struggled with the episode for a lot of it because of that. I liked the sort of when you saw her out of the hospital. There's the stuff with the the doctor played by Emma and Elliot, who I quite liked in this. I know in the past we've said we haven't really been a fan of his. The one person of the cast that I didn't like, obviously, was Blake Harrison, Blake who, Harrison. Played, who played the. You're not um, supposed to like him. Who played uh, the father of her young daughter? It's just believing that Jodie Whittaker and Blake Harrison would have sex in the first place. Really, that was yeah. where I struggled. My problem was the premise was ridiculous, even if it does happen. I just and the way it happened was just so easy and ridiculous and there was no there were no characters in it i didn't care about jody Whittaker oh i disagree all. with that i disagree with that i like i did like the character and i liked the performance but i i found that her reasoning for doing what she did was almost too but much she, she was this moral person wanted to blow the whistle who all of a sudden became a completely immoral person for well that's right I... the, 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 the lines did become very blurred i'm not sticking with this I no i'm i don't oh, think okay. i am I think because I just found it, I just found it hard to watch. I mean, the reason to watch it, I think, is Jodie Whittaker's performance. But the only reason to sympathise with her maybe is the fact that she's doing this for her daughter. You know, it's more money. It's more, but again, she is going to get found out eventually, and it's you either. Know, you know what I find the BBC gives you an hour, and a lot of writers these days aren't using that hour properly. There was not enough time for me to get to know Jodie Whittaker really, or her predicament, or care about her, before she decided what to do this. What would you have liked thing. then? What, well, what, just, just some some time, more time. Before, before yeah. Before, so maybe and, and you... getting to know the other doctor as well, yeah. Andrea Lowe and why she was a lead. It was just all a bit too confusing. I, I, I understand, yeah. There was too much... You, you wanted maybe to spend another 20 minutes with her as a nurse. Or, I, sorry, I think, so we, I think so we could understand why, why she yeah. got to this point. I get you. I get you. The one thing that I, I do kind of agree with as well is you can kind of see where it's going. There's going to be a situation where I predict either she's going to make a huge mistake and it's going to kill a patient or her identity is going to be found out first or there's just going to be more of these little victories mm. and then eventually but a that, massive that, failure. That's the thing, Gary. Surely it is a bit of a problem that you can always pre- already predict how the series is going yeah. to go. And as I say, I think I'll give it a go because I want to see how some of it works out. Mm. And it may be that I only watch another one. But, yeah. but you know, it had me intrigued enough to say I'm probably going to watch it for the it, next, it, the next episode. It's unusual. There was this sense to me that I know they did the flash forward to drill, to get you in, which is a bugbear in mind, but it was the sense to me is people know it's going to be about her being a fake doctor. We want her to be a fake doctor as soon as possible. And I think it took... There, there will be a lot minutes. of... Um, there, there'll be a lot of talk yeah. around my offices, around, wow, Five, perhaps you don't minutes, have to go yeah. to medical school for seven years, you know, and be a doctor. And then probably a lot of nurses being very unhappy with the way it's being portrayed of, you know... The, the series does make a strong distinction between the abilities of doctors and nurses. So I, it would be interesting. I would have much preferred this to be like a whistleblower drama, yeah, like her, her blowing the whistle. I thought initially, oh, it's going to be have a medical backdrop, but it is going to be her being this whistleblower. A lot of like yeah. muck raking. And the tensions so, that brings up. Yeah. Within, yeah. And I thought that would have been a much better series. I mean, I don't know, but I think, and then you would have got to know the character a lot more. And, and, and despite the transparency in the NHS and the fact that every trust has to have a whistleblowing policy, there is still a stigma about reporting things like that. I, I haven't personally done it, but I know of colleagues who have ummed and ahed about reporting quite serious items because there is still that fear that the scene where she faced those two people will happen to you. I think you said it about In the Dark, and I know you praised Eamon Elliot, and there were some other familiar faces. Is it Eamon or Eamon? 
Eamon. I interviewed okay. him once, believe it or not, for a Comedy Central thing he did back in the old days. Reason. Um, but I also found it just full of just people I didn't really like, you know. Blake Harrison, why? Sharon Small, she's all right, but not particularly great. Andrea Lowe was in it for a tiny bit. But it's just, like you said about In the Dark, it's just full of people and non-names. Mm. And, and, yeah, and... So again, I was thinking that. It's like summer dramas, like minor cast, everyone out there having a holiday. I yeah, no, I, I agree. No, I agree. It was better than In the Dark. I agree. But I see your link, but I think it's better than 